Hello, everybody. I'm in the storm here. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, we started our work uh, exploring uh, the Emerald Graves, uh, working through some of the quests as we uh, deal with these Freemen of the Dales who have been causing a lot of trouble in the region, as well as investigating uh, sources of red lyrium for Corypheus. So we're going to continue working through this uh, and uh, seeing what we run into out here. Hello. All right, so we are back at this camp. And I wanted to go over here for the Vicious King. We found his document in Costo's camp mentioning a commander for the Freeman named Duhaim. He is among peers holding a deserted villa in Emerald Graves. Find the Freeman Villa. So, that is what we're going to do. Ah! I think that is it down there. And let's see if I can't get down here without killing myself. Ooh, almost. So there's the outer wall. We need to find ourselves an entrance. Hmm. Some pyro fight. Discovered Vill Villa Morel. Alright, so here appears to be our entrance and our first hostiles. Let's deal with them. Uh oh, big guy. Archers. Oh, I love archers. Deal with this guy. One less for Fairbanks to worry about. Oh, that was it. Villa Morel Key. Oh. Blame this. The betrayer. Even Mathrath, the betrayer, had a part to play. Who are we to say elves do not? From a sermon given by Sister Amity at the conclusion of the Exalted March of the Dales. Alright, let's explore the area, see if there's anything interesting kicking around. this. Duhame's notes. August has made progress in the Exalted Plains. We are together in this, but Maker's Breath, how that irks me. That weapon, or whatever secret is hidden in those glyphs, is mined by rights. Malathant trusts me most. Bah, he won't have it, not while I live. I think I found those. Now, we have a key, and I assume it opens a door somewhere. Oh, more enemies. Ah, more archers.
Let those guys deal with that guy, which looks like they just did. Scribbled notes. Sir August is dead. If this continues, we'll lose everything we work for. We must do something. Send all the men out, everyone who can fight. I'm headed to the Exalted Plains. There are still some freemen hiding out there. We can regroup. Emory. Alright, more orders. Scribble notes. When Samson made this deal, we promised you the Dales. If you could hold them and keep the roads open for our supplies. Too difficult a concept to grasp, I see. Enough of your fumbling. The Red Templars will deal with the Inquisition. Mike Captain Carroll. Alright. Ooh. This is its own region. The Freeman's leader should be holed up here. This place has seen better days. These men are thugs. What do you expect? Definitely Orlesian architecture. I haven't heard anything from the plane, have you? No, nothing recent anyway. Hi guys. There's some guys in the courtyard. Let's look around. There's something here. Part of a key. There's a rune inscribed on it. Or part of one. Pieces of a key. Hmm. Sexuality and Thetis. Uh, something by Brother brother Jenna TV. That's eh, short enough. Let's give it a read. What I find most interesting is that despite the lack of open discussion of matters of human sexuality, there's com commonality to be found in on the subject in all Androstian lands. Typically, one's sexual habits are considered natural and separate from matters of procreation, and only among the nobility, where procreation involves issues of inheritance, and you know, powerful families is it considered of vital import. Is it considered of vital importance? Yet, even there, a noble who has done their duty to the family might be allowed to pursue their own sexual interests without raising eyebrows. The view on indulging lusts with a member of the same gender varies from land to land, and Orlé is considered a quirk of character and nothing more. In Ferelden, it is a matter of scandal if done indiscreetly, but otherwise nothing noteworthy. In Tevinter, it is considered selfish and deviant behavior among nobles, but actively encouraged with favored slaves. Nowhere is it forbidden, and sex of any kind is only considered worthy of judgment when taken to awful excess or performed in the public eye. Okay. Interesting tidbit there. Alright. I'm going to track down the rest of this key. Lady Morrell's Diary. Uh, let's see what it says. The diary of one of the villa's former owners. The current occupants tossed it roughly aside. All this fuss over Gaspard and Selene, the talk was amusing enough. Now we hear of conflicts between the Imperial Army and the soldiers supporting that usurper. The thought of them coming here is frightful. Mother is right. Our most fashionable acquaintances will summer the city. We should do the same. Ramond is stubborn, of course. All his little tricks and trinkets are here. I indulge his eccentricities, mostly to annoy Mother. We cannot have everything sent to Valroyo on such short notice. He does insist we keep Artem on. He refuses to do without the man's services. I suppose he views Artem as another piece of his collection. Still, such devotion to a servant. Nothing of any real interest there. Alright, 
So I guess we're going into the courtyard, taking care of these, these guys here. More of them. Archer. More. Oh, I missed him. Down. Corrupt general, quest complete. To be the last of them. Looks like that was the man in charge. He struck a blow against the Freeman. From what we've heard, I'm not sorry to see him go. All right, speak to Fairbanks and watch his reach. Red Templar orders a letter bearing the Templar seal. Have a chat with Melifont. Make sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services in Empress de Lyon. We can always use a few more. Be discreet. Melophon's still useful. I doubt he'd remain so... I doubt he'd remain so if he thinks we're stealing his soldiers. Seems we interrupted their meeting with the Templars. They weren't ready for us. Whatever they came for might still be here. Yes, there's gonna be something else here. Now let's check the loot. Make sure there's anything important in here. Let's just some plants. Crystal Grace. Grab some of that. Discovered study. Ah. Bull. Something for you to do. Red Lyrium. They must have been smuggling it for the Templars. Not anymore. Mm, Malifan's journals. Malifan kept several journals. This one details the founding of the Freemen of the Dales. August and I have established outposts in the Emerald Graves. We are spreading the word to both armies. I'm sick of good or legion men and women dying for someone else's cause. It ends now. Orlesia belonged to us, the people who defend her borders, who till her fields. And if we're to fight and kill for something, let it be that. Several pages later... Templars approached us. They are not the order I knew, but they have offered weapons and gold if we help bring their supplies through the Emerald Graves. If we are to free the Dales from the grasp of the nobility, we need what they have to offer. It's a deal with a demon, but our cause is worthwhile. Beware of those deals with demons. Alright, read inscription. An official appraisal. A note addressed to the villa's former owner lies next to an unused, unusual device. Lord Marl, I posed a few questions to my contacts in the White Spire, discreetly of course, lest they want the peace for themselves. From what I can gather, the device, rustically dubbed Illyrium Eperlan, is meant to restore broken runes. They are not widely used. Some suggest that if the rune were affixed to an object, the device could restore the item itself, although I was unable to confirm the truth of this. This is purely academic, as it requires a mage to function. It is nevertheless a rare piece, prized among the collectors of curiosities. I trust you are pleased with the purchase. Sincerely, Emile Fabre, collector and purveyor of unique ephemera, whatever that is. 
All right. So something's still not right. We need to find those key fragments. go. These all the march of the Dales. Now that's a little bit too big for us to try to read. What's this? A letter to Maliphant. Maliphant, I'm sending men to discuss some changes. It's nothing dire. You'll find the demands perfectly reasonable. I'm willing to compensate you for any inconvenience, I want our relationship to be mutually beneficial. It's been going so well, each of us with our crusades. Andraste sacrifice amulet. Interesting. That'd actually be nice for a tank. Long walk to Halamshiral. Uh, what's this? Another of Maliphant's journals. Um, I don't know what we're doing anymore. Our hearts were pure when we started. I have to wonder if we've lost our way. The Templars are terrifying. When I speak to Night Captain, I feel uneasy. There is something unsettling about his eyes and voice. They keep making offers. More shipments to guard, more men to be escorted to their keep. I just... No. No more grousing. I can't let my doubt show. Others take their cue from me. They must stay strong. It's just for a little while longer. Then we'll get what we want. We'll be free. I doubt it. Alright, let's see if we can find that... Rune engraved key required. Okay, so... somewhere. Just gonna double check. Nope, not here. My compass should pulse. If we get close to something we can search for. Place we haven't been yet. Oh. Some loot. East Hall. There we go. There it is. Alright, let's just grab the loot before we head to try and reforge this key. Wine cellar. Some 
bags of stuff lying around. Hmm, something else over here. A servant's letter, a neatly penned note addressed to the villa's former owner. My lord, everything is in order for your departure. I have granted leave to all non-essential staff and arranged transportation for the time you requested. I have taken the liberty of securing the more valuable items in your personal storeroom. Just find everything to your satisfaction, Artem. I'm guessing that is where that key goes. All right, we just need to wake, make our way back to the courtyard. Energize. And now we have the key. Oh, hold on. Mosaic piece. See what they got. Superior Dalish bow. That might be useful. Uh, here we go. Staff of the Fire Drake. Dense longbow schematic. Glacian banner crown enhanced. And some runes and a sigil. Take all that. I'll have to see what that bow looks like for crafting and see if it's better for um, Sarah. Alright, I think we're probably done here. I'm gonna head back out and move on. Dealt a significant blow to the Freeman of the Dales. So do we want to go back to Fairbanks? We might as well. We're right here. Alright, let's tell them what we've done. You saved my people. We'd given them up for dead. Perhaps the stories are true. Uh, let's see... Yes, we can ask him about this stuff. Who are these freemen of the Dales? Most are deserters from the war, tired of fighting and dying for a cause in which they have no stake. But recently, the freemen have organized, started attacking anyone and everyone. Their new leaders are driving them to take the Dales for themselves. What is your opinion of the Civil War? When I quarrel with my cousin, wine is spilled. Perhaps someone loses a tooth. When Selene feuds with hers, a country is torn apart. It's over now. But it will take years to recover from the damage. And about the camp? Tell me about your people. Simple people. Most have lost family. All have lost their homes. I found a few, helped them, found this cave for shelter. Word spread and more came. Even with the war over, some are afraid to leave. Where will they go? I need to be going. Be safe. It still says I need to speak of Fairbanks. News, Inquisitor. The freemen have been defeated. They hurt so many of my people. Now it's finally over. Thank you. Perhaps with the freemen gone, we can find a proper home. Argon's Lodge was always well situated. Inquisitor. 
Uh, we've already asked about that stuff. All right. I need to be going. Good day then. All right. So the Freeman of the Dales have been defeated. We still have a few things to do out here, though. Lots of rifts to close. Some unfinished business for Cassandra. There should be a rift. Hold on, what's this? Clara. Inquisitor, you saved Gertrude and the others. Thank you so much. Uh, this is bold of me, but if I could have a moment. Um. Tell me about the people here. I'd like to know more about you and the rest of the people here. Most of us are simple people. Farmers, fishermen. A Jolene over there is just me. Just people trying to escape the war. And Fairbanks? What else do you know about Fairbanks? He's a good man. He found us when we most needed him. He kept us safe. He doesn't like to talk about himself, so I... I actually don't know much about him. And what did you need? I'm here. What do you need? This... This is about Fairbanks. There is a rumor that he is of noble blood. Once the war is over, many of us will return to serve our lords. Walk our fields, raise our brides. And most of the aristocracy know little of the lives of commoners. They care nothing for us. Fairbanks is different. He is a great man. There is much he could do if he had the power. If the rumor is true. If Fairbanks is noble and we have proof. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, has Fairbanks heard this rumor? Does Fairbanks know about this rumor? Uh, he doesn't like it. And he won't let me discuss it. And what about it? This rumor about Fairbanks being noble. What do you want me to do about it? Oh, I... I don't mean to impose, but... You travel all over the decks, don't you? Perhaps if you found something that could help. I've written everything I know in my journal. You can look at it. Okay. Goodbye. Search for proof of Fairbanks' nobility. All right. Huh. From a few places we've already been. All right, I need to see if I can get to this rift. I think I probably need to climb out of here. Mm, nope, I guess not. Let's see if there's any way out of here that leads toward that rift. I uh, don't think I can climb that. Enderil's Wall. Whoa, Red Templar. Lots of Red Templar. Just 
there. Hitting me hard. Who's chasing me? And that was kind of rough. Alright, there's our rift. Let's go ahead and close that, then we'll probably call it an episode here, and then return to continue exploring the area. Uh, one of you. Take it down. Oh man, whatever that is, is not great. Spell that. Alright, knock that out. Oh, there's another one. Alright, it's down. Close the rest. I am probably going to need a trip back to a camp here soon enough. Oh! There is an ocularum. I was wondering if there were going to be any of them here. Seven. Five and six. There's one more kicking around here somewhere. Right as you do, Varric. I can never find the proper words. You? Right? Really? I've needed to describe events in reports. They always come off as... Oh, dry, boring, lifeless, stale. You are an ass. Just helping you find those words. There it is. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we'll call it here. Ooh, this is just a whole giant pile. I'll have to grab all those up. Probably before we start the next episode. Alright, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.